there, my name's Taya and I work at the Live Oak Public Library and I am in charge of the adult craft program. For the month of May, we are going to be creating a DIY garden gnome using clay pots and this is the video where we're gonna show you how to do that. The supplies you are going to need for this craft are a two inch clay pot, a four inch clay pot, and a six inch clay pot, a small round wooden crafting bead, some paint brushes and a cup of water, red, black, green, and white paint, and a hot glue gun and glue. All right, as you can see in this picture, the clay pots are stacked and formed to make a garden gnome. So our first step is going to be to glue them together. So this one is going to go on top of the larger one. So what I'm gonna want to do is I'm going to put some glue on the inside rim of this clay pot, and then I'm gonna secure it to the bigger clay pot. So I'm going to take my hot glue gun that's been heating up and just do a pretty thick layer of hot glue in here. And then I will stick it onto this clay pot and let it dry. So now we are going to take the small pot and we're going to put a ring of hot glue on the bottom of this because we're going to glue that to the top of the medium sized pot. and then we're going to let that dry on there. Now you can do this in the opposite order. You can paint and then glue your pots. I purposely glued my pots first because I wanted to make sure that any hot glue that seeped out, I was able to paint over easily and not have to go back and repaint after it was glued. So that's why I did it in this order, but it's up to you in which order you do it. So our next step is going to be to go ahead and start painting. I'm gonna start at the bottom and work my way up. So the bottom is green, white, and it has the little black feet and then the top two are just all red. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to decide which part of this I want to be the front of my gnome, and I think I'm gonna go with this side. So I'm going to take the white paint and I'm gonna go ahead and create my beard first so that I can get that outlined on there. And for the beard, I'm just making a squiggly line like this and then I'll go around that and do the green, and then I'll let that dry. Okay, so I've got my white section outlined, so I can go ahead and fill that in and then paint the rest of the bottom pot dark green. All right, so I've painted the green and white on the bottom pot, so my next step is while I'm letting that bottom pot dry is to go ahead and paint my top two pots, and those are going to be completely red. So I'm just going to take the red paint and a brush and just start painting them. And whenever I'm satisfied with the color, may have to do a couple of coats. I did a couple of coats on the bottom pot. Then I will continue on to the next step. Okay, our red is on. And while that is drying, we're going to go ahead and do our feet and the belt on the gnome. So for this, I'm going to need some black paint. And I'm just going to take that and I'm going to go along the crease right here at the bottom pot and just a black line all the way around and that's going to signify a belt kind of like a separation of the shirt from the pants just kind of add that little detail and I'll go all the way around on that okay so there's the belt and now I'm going to make the little black feet at the bottom so I'm just going to go on both sides of the beard and make a little black half circle near the bottom of the pot and fill that in with black as well. And those are gonna be his little feet. So I'm gonna do it on the other side. And then I'm gonna let that dry. All right, so the final step is putting on the nose. So we wanna make sure that we don't put the hole outward, otherwise it just looks a little bit weird. So we're gonna wanna, so we're gonna wanna glue it on its side. So I'll take some hot glue and I'll stick the bead right there on the middle of his beard to signify his little nose. And I'll hold it on there for a minute just to make sure it gets glued on nice and tight. And there we go. That is our completed garden gnome. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to look out for more from Swanee River Regional Library in the future.